Hi and welcome. My name is Johnny Fragan. I'm from All Total Coaching. What I want to talk to you today is another snip into the presentation we did a few weeks back on how to be a man in emasculated society. In this particular slip, we're going to call, talk about why and how the media manipulate us. Enjoy. Now, I'm going to explain why and how the media manipulate us. Anybody would like to give me an example about how the media manipulate us? Anybody? Yes. They basically uh, make you think that if you're one, you mentioned before, if you're going to be too much, be nice to a woman, the woman is going to uh, be pleased about it. But in, fact, in reality, it doesn't work. But the reality, it doesn't work, no. Exactly. That's what I'm going to talk about. The media dictates to us how we should think, buy, and act, and control your mind. By controlling your mind, they control your dick, and they control how you think, and they control your purpose. It dictates what we should do. This is cool, this is not. Who said it's cool? Because they said it doesn't mean it's cool. And if you keep listening to mainstream media, you will not have a mind of yourself. It creates massive brainwash about women, romance, and if you don't get the woman that you buy her flowers and chocolates, you're going to get depressed and you're going to watch porn. And guess what? You have to pay for it and they still make money. No matter what happens, they're going to make money. There's an analogy of the drop of the water, and this is an analogy I like using, of the water on the rock. If you take a drop of water, just a drop of water, and it drops on the floor every day on, on a solid rock, every day it doesn't happen, nothing. But after three weeks, maybe a little, little hole. After six months, it penetrates. After three, four years, it makes a massive hole. That's the same thing with negativity and the bad news that you watch of fear of the media. If you keep watching mainstream media, it's going to create fear and you're going to be fearful because it's never ever good news. Mainstream media makes you feel inadequate so you can consume and buy things. If you buy these shoes, you'll be happy. Nothing wrong buying shoes if you need them. But if you've got 60 shoes, what's the point buying them? It gives you a boost for five seconds and then you broke the rest of the week. It's easier for the media to control you via fear. It puts them in control. The more fear they put in our society, the more they can control you and tell you what to do and what to buy, not to buy, this is cool, this is not. But as a man, you have to think independently, because if you don't think independently, you're going to be put in the fear. And this is one of the reasons why there's so much depression today. We are slaves to the system by the media. If you don't break out of it, you tend to be fearful and depressed. depressed. There is always somebody richer, smarter, taller, more fit than you are. Tell me I'm wrong. There's always somebody better than, than us. You can't think like this because you'll never end. Uh, you'll, you'll never ever, ever end. Most of us operate in an autopilot and unaware. And if you don't get this sorted, you'll be depressed. Now, all the violence in the media is by the doing of the men. And women are always the victims. But they never talk about how many men commit suicide and how many men lose all they have regarding no kid. So that's another snip into our presentation and how to be a man in emasculated society and how the media manipulate us and control your mind so you consume by creating more and more fear within our community so you can consume and be a slave to the system instead of thinking independently and taking action and being a man on purpose. For full transcript on this video, on all the presentation, without edits, please email us at john at sosdating.com. Look us up on www.alltotalcoaching.com. I can change your life. The question is, do you want to? Or you want to keep, want to keep watching mainstream media and worry about what fucking Kim Kardashian did, etc., etc. Thank you very much for listening. I'm your friend, Johnny Fragan.